Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. Well, let's put it this way. Um, well, let me just show you. It's Snoopy. Yeah. On his doghouse, flying it. So it's a dog slash plane slash car. It's because it looks like a car on this one. So I just have to tell you that I've always been a fan of the Peanuts uh, the Charlie Brown series and ever since I was a kid I remember when I was about nine or ten my grandmother uh well my grandparents but I'm sure it was my grandmother that bought the books for me but she bought me a set of Charlie Brown books and it must have been some type of collector set I don't know if it's a collector set but it probably is to this day but there were two books in one book and there was about seven or eight books I think and it was kind of weird because it had two books in one book but they were upside down from each other so you had to like you you could read it this way through half the book and then you'd have to turn over and then the other book was on the other side and so that's a fond memory of mine reading those as a kid it was a special gift to me for my for, for my birthday I believe it was and my grandmother wrote in each book um, a little note to me. Uh, so uh, we actually just found those. I hadn't seen them in a number of years. We were moving some stuff around in our house for uh, cleaning out a room, moving stuff because uh, we're having a family member uh, that's going to come and live with us. And so we were cleaning out a place, a bedroom. And so we were going through some stuff in a closet and I found my found these old books that I hadn't seen in a few years. And so I was able to kind of show my wife them and read each and every note that my grandmother put in there. So it was very, very special. Priceless books for me. They're all beat up pretty good because I, I did read them a lot. So this tonight's pour is going to be kind of special. And then I do have a fond memory with my son when I was reading, uh, well, I read to both my son and daughter, but this particular time I was reading to just my son and it was a Charlie Brown book. It wasn't one of those, but it was a different one. And it was uh, about Snoopy, you know, fighting the Red Baron. And um, I remember it. He was, he, at, he was overseas, supposedly. And he was asking for, where is the root beer hall? So, but... I said it like in a German accent, like, where is the root beer hall? Kind of like that, maybe a little bit better. And it was uh, just, and my son started laughing and I started laughing and we, we sat there and laughed for, I don't know how long. So that's kind of a fond memory uh, between us. So that's why this is kind of a special pour. Um, I already have this in my collection, my private collection. This one, as you can see, is it's, the card on this is all tore up. It's all bent up. It's it's in pretty bad shape anyway, you know. So you can see some corn that's really worn tore. I just bought this for three dollars and a quarter. So I saw it and I thought well, I'm going to do this this uh, uh, Snoopy one. So what I decided to do is I'm doing blues for the background, like he's flying in the sky. I'm just going to have some white coming out the back, like for the, the wake of, or the smoke, the exhaust, whatever. And then I'm going to put um, some black like streaks, little two little lines, like he's firing at the Red Baron. So that's what we're going to do. So we got good old Snoopy and his doghouse fighter. So I've already got the paints mixed. I've got the blue, I did two different blues and I put some white in it, but it's just artist loft blue and that's master's touch. I did some, some lake blue and the white is artist loft white. And so the black is going to be artist loft black. So those are the only colors that we're going to be using. So I've already got the blue down on the canvas and I've got my white already mixed up in a little squirt bottle and then also in my black. So I don't have to mix those paints. So all I have to do is adjust the camera and we can get started. 
All right, so you, as you see, we can uh, we got the blue on here. It's all kind of mixed. So I'm going to start about right here. So I'm going to have the, the Snoopy Mobile. So we're going to start about right here. So we're going to put some white out there. We'll run it out a little bit. So I'm not going to pour the blue on the outside and blow it up. I'm not going to use a blow dryer. I'm just going to use a straw. Because I want to do a kind of a swirl because it's going to be like smoke coming out. So we'll have that, so we'll have that there. So then we need to start about right there, those two little spots for the black. <laughs> Trying to find the spots. Blame melded in. We just want a little bit. Because I wanted to just Hopefully that won't uh, shrink, sink too much. So the reason I did that was so it's like uh, smoke coming out of the guns. So we'll see how that goes. I like it. I think it'll be great looking when it gets when it gets done, dried. Hopefully it'll the white won't sink a whole lot, and hopefully the black will stay in there pretty good. If not, I can uh, I can always, I have some black acrylic pens that I can hopefully. Um, add some effect to that so if that sinks too much hopefully all right so this is dried the black is not very prominent here where i was doing like the shooting out but i'm not gonna add to it i'm not gonna enhance it i think i'm gonna just let it go like that you'll be able to slightly see it i'm i'm hoping the resin will kind of pull it out a little bit but uh, we'll see. But I, th I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So this is a 10 by 20 canvas. We have the back taped, as you can see. 
Uh, that's for easy peeling off once this resin is dried. We have our car slash doghouse slash airplane right there. And you can kind of see the black right there. So we're, that's where we're going to place the car slash doghouse slash plane. So we're using Promise Epoxy, formerly known as the Artist Pro Marine resin. And we're using seven ounces of resin. That's three and a half of the epoxy and three and a half of the hardener. Equal amounts for seven ounces mixed for two or three minutes. I've actually stopped using a timer. I've been listening to one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite bands back from the seventies. What? when I was in junior high, I think when I got their first album, but it's Electric Light Orchestra. And that is my favorite group, still is to this day. I love listening to their stuff. It's it's really, really great music. And so I've been, I think the very first album I got of theirs was out of their double album, Out of the Blue. I think it was released in 1976. I was in sixth grade when it came out, but they had other hits as well. But that is the one that a lot of people will, uh, the, the song that most people recognize is Mr. Blue Skies on that one. But I've been listening to the ELO's Time album. I always liked that album itself. I think at one point I had every album i even had some import albums from because they were a band from england so i had some some of those there was something in there plastic i remember one album one record i got when i got it home i opened it up and it was uh, the album itself wasn't like a black lp it was pink i really wish i had those albums today i really do uh, they probably just got thrown away. You know, I wasn't smart enough to say, hey, these could be a collector's item someday. Which I don't know if uh, ELO was is big, you know, collection for collections of people. But they would probably worth something. So. All right, I got my torch. And now we start torching. I have a friend at work that uh, he's he got a you know the, the record player and started buying albums and I know they've kind of made a comeback. I don't know if they're still still popular right now. It seemed like it was just a fad maybe that they came back into. I still see him like at Walmart and other stores. The LPs, but man, I thought they were expensive back in the day, but man, I don't want to pay 20 bucks for a, for a, a record. I still don't even have a record player anymore. I'm old enough. I'm, I actually had an 8-track tape player at one point. Uh, and then uh, I can remember when cassette tapes really became popular and so we transitioned from uh, set tapes from the records uh, when they became more more popular and uh, there's still a lot of bubbles in that and uh Really, I think it was transitioning from the A-track tape players in your car to cassette cassettes in your car. And so I can remember one of my friends was in he was real big into stereos and stuff, so he uh he really liked 
the he got the latest stuff before everybody else. And he had a, a he had a cassette player, a, you know, like a home stereo system with a cassette player in it that actually you didn't have to take the cassette itself out to flip it over to play the B side. It automatically flipped over and that was like awesome, awesome. You always had to take it out, flip it over to listen to the other side. But that was better than an 8-track where you had to listen to, you really couldn't, so I remember it, you really couldn't forward it. Or you could forward it, but you couldn't skip tracks. I don't know. It was, I remember you usually had to listen to everything. But I have been listening to full albums again. I kind of got away from that. <clears throat> so at work, I just set my, set my phone there. Get on YouTube and play a full album. So I've been kind of listening to some older albums and really bringing some uh, songs back to the I hadn't heard in oh, decades, really, really decades. So that's kind of nice. I was what was it I was listening to the other day? Oh yes, uh, Sammy Hagar, Standing Hampton album. And uh, that always reminds me of Wiggy, Wiggy, a Wiggy friend of mine. His last name was Wiggins, and we called him Wiggy. His nickname was Gumby. But I remember cruising around with him and listening to Standing Hampton. All right, I think I got all the bubbles out, all the air pockets. So we're gonna place the Snoopy Mobile here. And I'm gonna set it right, right there. And you can see that a little bit better. It's not real prominent, but it's there. So we have our Snoopy Mobile flying across the sky. There's some exhaust coming out and some bolts flying towards the Red Baron. Yes, indeed. All right. If you like this one, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.